Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently about 25 to midnight on Sunday the 4th of September. I'm currently reading Dreamer of June by Brian Herbert, so this, sorry, yeah, by Brian Herbert. It's a biography of Frank Herbert. Um, I'm most of the way through. Just got that last little side there to get through, and I'm enjoying it a lot. It's on course for a 4, maybe even a 4.5 out of 5. After this, I'm probably going to read Left You Dead by Peter James, and I'm currently listening to my audiobook of Unfinished Tales by J.R.R. Tolkien. I have a call at 5pm tomorrow, and I think that's about all I've got for you. I'm also quite tired, so I think I'm going to go to bed soon. I might read some more of La Reine des Lettres by uh, Alan Bennett, which is just the French version of The Uncommon Reader, which is about the Queen developing a love for reading, and it's very fun. It's very funny, even in French, and, you know... I, don't, I mean, I'm not only getting like maybe 60% of the context, if that, but it's enough for me to still be enjoying it. And my necklaces are messed up, and my girlfriend hates it when my necklaces are messed up, so I should fix those. But I'll do those later. She's not here anyway, so it's not like she can see. But she will probably watch this video and then leave a comment telling me off or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's where we're at. Dane reads. Hello people of Vlogtown, population you. It is currently 20 past 9 on the evening of Monday the 5th of September. Uh, I didn't sleep too well last night. It was alright I suppose, but uh, I could have slept better. I did get some work done though. Um, most of my writing and computer stuff is pretty much up to date now. I've actually even been doing some editing on Lightfold Book 4, Boys in Blue. I'm about halfway through my self-edits now. Don't actually have any money to send that to my editor though. So that might have to wait. I'm currently totally skimmed, but I'm hoping to get paid a couple of times by Wednesday. So that's going to help. Um, I'm still reading Dreamer of June by Fra Brian Herbert. I'm probably 80 pages from the end now. Bev Herbert has just died, so it's very sad. But I'm still enjoying reading it. It still is a very strong 4, maybe 4.5 out of 5. And then after that, I'm probably going to read Left You Dead by Peter James. I've been doing some jogging, so I've listened to some more of my audiobook of Unfinished Tales. I've been sorting out in the bedroom as well, so I've now taken down all of the stuff that was above my wardrobes. It's going to slowly but surely kind of filter through to the charity shops. So I've stacked that all in the living room for easier access. Um, and yeah, I've just got some tidying and cleaningy bits to do. And my toilet is still fucked, but I don't know what to do about that. I can't really do anything until I get some money so I can buy a new plunger and a toilet auger. But yes, that is where I'm at, and I'm going to go and do a little tiny bit of filming, and then hopefully lots of editing this evening. Hi everybody! It is 10pm on Tuesday the 13th of September 2022. Uh, my other half forgot the date today. Not just the day, she also forgot the month and the year. Shay, I'm talking about you. Shaming you on the internet. Um, Pretty tough weekend for reasons I don't want to go into, but yeah, uh, other than that, life is pretty standard. Been doing some housework, um, went to the art centre open mic on Friday and played some songs. I've been doing lots of reading, which I want to update you on. So I finished reading La Rende Electrice by Alan Bennett, so this is uh, the fucking... Shit, what's it called? Uh, the... The something reader. I've forgotten. No, The Uncommon Reader, that's it. And it's about the Queen and she gets really into reading books and then decides to abdicate. Uh, that is a massive spoiler because that's the last line of it. Pretty weird because I, so I was reading that in French. I did enjoy. Four out of five. It's very good in English as well. Uh, and then the Queen died. So there was that. So I think I'm somehow mis responsible for that. I finished reading Dreamer of June as well. That was a solid four out of five. I read Left You Dead by Peter James, one of his Roy Grace books. This is probably a 3.5 out of 5, to be honest. Not his best. It was okay. It was one of those books where... So it's a crime novel, and it focused a lot more on the backstory of the characters in this one than it normally does, to the point at which nothing much really happened in the main plot, to be honest. There's also a twist in it, but it was very gone girl, so it was also very predictable because of that. But hey-ho, I did read it 3.5 out of 5. Uh, then I read a mystery book, which I'm not going to talk to you about because it uh, involves a medical condition that one of my loved ones has, and so I don't want to, you know talk about that out of respect but yes it was okay like middle of the road 3.5 out of 5 and I'm now reading Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens which is okay I'm getting in more into it now about 100 pages in but it, I don't know it's one of those books where I think you have to be in the mood to read it and I've not really been in the mood to read it so make of that as you will but yes probably going to be a middle of the road 3.5 out of 5 and that's about it 
I've got the cleaner coming over on Thursday morning, then on Thursday afternoon my mum's coming down to visit for a few days, so we're going to go and have some food. I will have a call on the evening of Thursday. I think Friday we're going to the Roald Dahl Museum, which I've never been to before, so that'll be nice. And then Saturday my band has a gig at HMV, we're playing in store, um, and I think my mum might come along to that for a bit before she heads home, we will see. Uh, I've also ordered a Wii, a Nintendo Wii, so that me and Shay can play that, so I'm just waiting for that to arrive. I've got like seven or eight games for it already arrived, but no Wii yet. So that's where we're at. And money-wise, I'm doing a little bit better. Um, I've paid off all my tax now. I do owe more tax, but not until January, and it's an affordable amount, so yeah, just going to keep working and cracking on with that. Um, and I think I'm going to keep this vlog going for another week, because I forgot to vlog towards the end of last week. Well, things just got busy, you know? So yeah, that's where I'm at. Here in Great Missenden with my mama at the Roald Dahl Museum. I don't know. <laughs> I don't recognise it. But... purple gates like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh yeah, so those are the pheasants, I see. Yeah, number one, yeah. pheasants. Yeah. Cool. School for unsatisfactory Latin. It's <laughs> your English. Yeah. Tim with Walt Disney. Oh, he had a snooker room. Yeah, chocolate attached to a box, and it's called the Great Simpsons Bird Capture. -a -a. <laughs> it was a TV host. with Ernest Hemingway. There is false teeth. So he had his teeth removed, yeah. Thank you. 
Oh, it looks cozy. Oh wow. That's cool. We're in the story center. Looks like Prince Harry. Norwegian birch trees to honor. Oh, that's actually really clever to honor his heritage. And they're using cobbles that look like chocolate. It's pretty. Found a dual carriageway. Big old church. Flags at half mast because of the Queen. Hello people of the internet, it is currently 10 past 11 on the evening of Monday the 26th of September. I have been useless at keeping you guys updated, it's been very busy. Um, I mean what have I been up to? Well my bathroom's still playing up, although I finally have, I have a company coming out on Wednesday to take a look at it. They're going to take my toilet off the wall and take a proper look behind it. And uh, they're going to charge me about 670 quid I think it is, but at least... If they can't fix it, they're going to put some cameras down there, so at least we can figure out what the issue is. So that's good. Um, my band's had a few gigs, so I think I've played three gigs over the last few weeks. I've been spending some time with my girlfriend, Shay. Shout out to Shay. She watches these videos. Hello. Um, we've got a Wii now, so we've been playing some Nintendo Wii. And I've been reading a lot, as you can imagine. I've also been writing a lot and working a lot, because I'm super skint. So I need to work hard to get some money. Uh, the good news is... Well, it's bad news for a lot of people, but the, the British pound is at like uh, pretty much an all-time low against the US dollar, but I get paid in dollars, so it means I earn more money, like in my local currency, because the pound is doing badly. Um, so that's okay, I guess. And I guess I'm gonna just give you a quick update on what I've been reading, and then we're gonna call this vlog to an end, and I'm gonna try and do a little bit better next week. I say all that, my cat is, j you just, you're right in the way, Biggie. 
He's right in the way, I can't see anything. All right, well, what's on my list here? Okay, so I read Prick Up Your Ears by Alan Bennett. Um, so that is down here. It was based on a biography of, uh, John Lair biography of Joe Orton. Uh, and it culminates in his savage murder by his love lover, Kenneth Hallowell. Uh, ow, I just hit myself in the eye. Did you see that? That was dumb. That hurt. Um, yeah, a really well written play. I'd love to go and see it perform live. As with all of Bennett's stuff, really, he's a cracking writer. Really enjoy his stuff. I'll give it like a 3.5 out of 5. Um, I think there are reviews coming for most of these. Then I read Dead Letter Drop by Peter James. So this was his first ever novel. And you could definitely tell, like, he's more known these days for his crime fiction, but this is more of like an espionage thing. He actually wrote it because he identified that there was a gap in the market because Ian Fleming had passed away. Um, so I was kind of saying it's a good example of writing to market and definitely a lesson that um, other authors can learn from. But yeah, it wasn't particularly good. I gave it like probably a three out of five, to be honest. Um, just a generic espionage thriller. And I've never much liked espionage thrillers. I do like Bond, but I didn't like Dead Letter Drop very much. Then I read God Is Not Great by Christopher Hitchens. So um, this is non-fiction about God, obviously. And... Um, yeah, I, I've been listen I'd listened to this on an audiobook um, while I've been doing my jogging, so it whizzed by really. Um, I gave it like a strong 3.5 out of 5. I personally am an atheist, so um, I kind of related a lot to what he was talking about, but at the same time it was mostly like anecdotal stuff. Whereas uh, The God Delusion by Richard Dawkins, which is really the book you'd compare it to, um, that one was very much Dawkins taking argument by argument one at a time and kind of demolishing them all. This was much more uh, Hitchens writing about his own experiences with religion and why they'd mostly turned out to be a bad thing. But yeah, it kind of cemented my atheism, I suppose. It didn't really make me change my mind about anything. Um, but yeah, 3.5 out of 5. Okay, then I read Voradin's Lair by J.V. Hilliard. I mean, I say I read it, I just marked it as read. I actually edited this book, um, so I can't really review it too much. I mean, it's a 4 out of 5. It's a very strong fantasy novel. The second in his Warminster series, the first one was The Last Keeper. Very much recommended. Um, actually, I also marked as read um, Charles Heathcote's Royally Doris, which came out the day the Queen died. Um, because I got my copy of that. I actually have two copies of that now, so I'm giving one to my other half. Very nice. Um, that was also a four out of five, although obviously I edited it, so it's going to be good. Um, then I read Closed Casket by Sophie Hanna. So this is one of the new Poirot stories. Um, basically, Sophie Hanna has been given the license by the Agatha Christie estate to continue the Poirot series. Um, I know Charlie of Charles Heathcote is not particular, particularly big fan of the Sophie Hanna books, but I really enjoyed it myself. Um, I gave it probably a strong 3.5 out of 5. It just felt like an Agatha Christie novel to me. Um, nice denouement. There was, um, there's like three acts to it, and there's a big twist at the end of Act 2 that you can see coming a mile off. Um, then I read Ozma and the Wayward Wand by Polly Behrens, so that's over here. Um, and this was sent to me by Charlie, Charles Heathcote, again, thank you Charlie. Um, it's just a young puffin adventure, it actually says a book for those who have developed reading stamina. I am a stamina machine, baby. Um, and yeah, it's just a children's book based in the land of Oz, a young puffin. Um, and it was alright, it was probably like a 3 out of 5 to be honest, it was just not the best because again it's a, a shorter read so it, it didn't get as... Uh, deep into the lore and stuff but we get all of the familiar characters so there's that you know and then I read The Chrysalids by John Wyndham um, and that was probably a strong 3.5 maybe a 4 out of 5 I really enjoy Wyndham anyway and this uh, I was reading it at the same time as I was listening to the audiobook of uh, God is not great and it was interesting because there are sort of similar themes so in um, in The Chrysalids basically there, there are all these like genetic abnormalities that are affecting kind of over half the population and people say it's against God and they're like basically killing babies that are born with extra toes and all of this stuff and it kind of goes from there so there's this really interesting like religious aspect to it and like you know how society reacts to all of this stuff just some good stuff really I get like I say I get that probably probably a week four out of five and next up I'm gonna read The Call of the Weird by Louis Theroux I'm also gonna start listening to my audiobook of Flowers in the Attic by Virginia Andrews VC Andrews and I have through there I've been reading La Ferme des Animaux by George Orwell which is Animal Farm in French I'm slightly over halfway through I just actually haven't made much progress progress on it for a while um, but yes that is coming soon 
And that seems like a good place to leave this video. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.